this is how I got involved in USA Baseball. I knew a guy that knew a guy that knew a guy. <coughs> My first year with USA Baseball, you know what I did? They have this big tournament. They bring in 144 of the best players in the country called the Tournament of Stars. They bring them in. I caught bullpens for future first-round draft pick. As 42 years old, and I'm fighting off 96 mile an hour fastball. They're hitting the wall. By the end of the last game, last game of the last day, I was like, just throw it at the wall. They're throwing it at the bullpen wall, and I'd walk over and pick it up, and I'd throw it back to them. My knees were gone, and I had my thumbs and fingers were all jacked up, but I was part of it. The next year, I got to be on the selection committee because the guy got sick. He got sick, and he couldn't do it. And they go, hey, who wants it? I went, I'll do it. So I, I weasel myself into the board. And in USA Baseball, when they're picking the team, the board looks just like that. It's in the hotel. It's up on the wall. You start writing names down. Then you start eliminating guys. And we were sitting right here. Where's Tyler at? <coughs> So I was right here, and I'm going to say I got him on USA Baseball, but I know for a fact I was sitting in the room when the 14-year-old group, they were talking about players, and I went, hey, is that kid from Chicago? Why did that guy have a camp in Tennessee? And every chair in the place just kind of went, what do you know? And I just started going, high-character kid. Yes, sir, no, sir. Because you see, when you go out of the country with USA Baseball, moms, dads, can you imagine this? 20, 14-year-olds on an airplane flying to Venezuela. They hate us. The Venezuela, people of Venezuela hate our guys because we have so much. But the Canadians hate us too, so I, I can't figure that one out. But anyway, Cubans, the Cubans don't hate us. The Cubans have a lot of respect for us. The Cubans have respect for themselves. They have respect for the game. They have respect for their coaches. Venezuelans, they don't like each other. They don't like their coaches. They don't even like the game. All right? That's a fact. So you know to bank USA Baseball, you have to be a high character kid. Is it always the best players? Absolutely not. We leave first. We left two years ago. We left four first round picks at home because they just didn't fit. All right. We had a left handed kid named Henry Owens. He's from Huntington Beach, California. He's a first round pick last year. Surfer dude. Everything dude. Hair down to here. And he can throw it. And he's an awesome kid. And we're sitting there, and one of the coaches goes, Henry, if we said your long hair presented a bad image for Team USA, would that bother you? And he went, probably. And we were like, ah, oh, we're just messing with you. He got up from the table and went to his room and shaved his head with a lady Gillette, like woman who shaved. He came back and went, there's my answer. And I was like, hey, we got to have Henry Owens on He makes the team. He's a stud. All right? They're quality kids, what I'm trying to tell you. A.J. Venegas turns around seven round, seventh round draft pick, turns down the draft to go to Stanford University. Okay? Picks up Cuba signs with pitch signs after three pitches. He goes, got him. I was like, no <coughs> way. And he goes, yep, check out the old man on the end of the bench. It looks like he's not doing anything. Every time he touches skin, it's a fastball. And when the players came off the field, A.J. goes, everybody up. Hey, and I've got their signs. You want them? And it was like, heck yeah. He started lighting them up. All right? It's little bitty things. Didn't have to tell those guys to clean their shoes. They clean their shoes on their own. They're always talking baseball. Francisco Lindor, first round draft pick. Cleveland. Cleveland mm -hmm. Indians. Stud. 6 a.m. on a tennis court, taking ground balls. You know how I know that? Because I was the one who would knock on my door and go, Kosh, you hit me ground balls. <laughs> sure, sure, Lindy, whatever you want. If you're a future first rounder, remember me at the All Star game. Okay. Oh, I'd give you hats here. But in hey, ground balls, are special. They were workers who have high character. They're special kids. They're just special. I got a couple things for you. This is what I learned. I learned that a national team kid, he understands the fact that all eyes are on him at all times. There's never an off moment, be it in a dormitory, in a grocery store, in a shopping mall, on an airplane, in an airport, all eyes, all eyes at all times are on me. Now, think about that. If you lived your life and you thought somebody was watching me at all times, how would that change your life? I know being a coach for this, it's changed my life. Because I always think about, 
All eyes at all times. Control the situation. Think about that all the time. I noticed there was a common denominator in our national team kids. Without being told, they always kept their shoes clean. Before games, they polished their shoes. Our guys woke up thinking about baby. Now, they also had a thirst to learn. When we were on a plane or on a bus, they would sit and they would talk about baseball. During the games, not one time as a high school coach, I'd watch them on the bench and I'd think, oh my gosh, my guys, I have to go, hey, watch the game. Watch the game. These guys were always on the rail. Pitchers always had a ball, talking about grips, holding grips. Hitters, they always had a ball. Out of eight, always took their hats off. When our team stood for the national anthem, heels four inches apart, toes slightly out, left hand, back of the bat, hand on the heart, and right before they played the anthem, our guys, they lift their chins up. The other team's national anthem, show some respect. Same thing, you take your hat off, and you just kind of look straight ahead. You don't look at their flag, you just look straight ahead. That's why everybody hates us, because we're awesome. <laughs> show just enough respect. 